Hello everyone, this is William with Alliance Concrete Pumps. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, we're going to review setting the depth of the proximity switch on your Alliance pump with an automatic transmission. So this sensor we use on the Alliance pump for our transmissions, uh, Allison 4th gear lockup or uh, Mac M drive 11th gear lockup. So this sensor needs to have the light on, which then tells the transmission to go into the correct gear when you're in PTO. So in my hand, I have a proximity switch. We have two different types. We have a type that has a sealed wire that comes out. And we have a type that has a threaded plug on the end of the uh, sensor here. So this type here is the new type we use. So I'm gonna plug in this sensor to show you guys how it works. So this has uh, 12 volt power. So if I show you anytime the sensor comes in contact with metal, it's going to light up like so. So as the shift fork, gets engaged into PTO, which I'm gonna show you here. Currently the shift fork is in drive, have the cover off, uh, but as that shift fork comes in, in close proximity, it, as you can tell, it doesn't have to be very far away, that uh, will light up and it tells your transmission to go into fourth gear. So I'm gonna unplug this right here and we can thread this into the cover and get it started. So we're gonna, what you wanna do is if you're putting this onto your unit, you actually wanna use uh, a thread sealant. Um, but for day, today's demonstration, I'm just gonna thread it in. This is a little bit easier to show how the sensor works. So I know that the sensor sits in about flush on here, but I'm gonna recess it slightly so we can watch the engagement. So first thing we have to do is once I get the sensor installed like that is we need to shift it into PTO. So if you're on your truck, you're going to go in the cab, turn on the PTO switch, um, make sure no one's going to get in the truck and drive it away, but you want to have power there. So I have uh, my shop air here and I'm just going to shift it over. So as you can tell, that shifts pretty quick and you don't want the sensor mounted too deep or this is going to smack into that sensor every shift. So that's why it's uh, important to get the adjustment correct. So I'm going to put the sensor on here like so so i have the cover on and uh now we can what i like to do is actually just thread the sensor in and you can actually feel yeah right right there it's touching so that's pretty good so we are right there so i will plug this in and as you can see the light is on so you can see in the end of the sensor so what we want to do is once the sensor is set all the way in. We're gonna back it out because we don't want it running into the, um, the shift fork rod. We're gonna back it up uh, using a wrench here. I'm gonna back it up about a half a turn. So about half of a turn and you bring your lock nut in and then uh, adjust your jam nut down until it's snug. So you can see I bumped the cover there. It's not fully installed, but that's as much um, in and out play that you have. So I'm gonna put the cover on here and we'll just show how the engagement and disengagement works on this. So if you have an issue with your sensor and it's not lighting up, say there's an electrical problem or the sensor's damaged, a wiring issue, what you can do is you can unplug it, discard the sensor side, but you want the truck side. So this truck side here um, has three pins that are used. If you look at the back of the sensor, it actually tells you what those numbers are. So we have a three, one, and two. So to bypass the sensor, we need to jump um, black and blue or one and three. So to bypass that sensor, um, you can use a piece of tie wire, like so, or mechanics wire, and that bypasses it, or a piece of electrical wire, like so. Just shove it in there. It's just connect telling the transmission that your pump is on. This is all it's doing. There's no power there. It's just connecting a ground circuit. If you guys have any questions on this proximity sensor, how it gets wired, how it gets installed, um, how the wiring works to, into the specific truck that you're working on, please give us a call. If you need to order parts like the sensor or a piston or any of these parts that I've shown in this video, please give our parts department a call. Thank you and have a nice day.